Now to Indiana's center race getting national attention tonight. More negative ads are flooding the airwaves right now. Millions of dollars from Washington poured into the race between Todd Young and Evan Bay. RTV6 State House reporter Katie Hines joins us live to explain why and what is at stake right now. Katie. Jason, the race now tilts Democrat after it was previously considered one Republicans were favored to win. That from a national nonpartisan analysis. And that's why the Koch brothers and the Democratic Senatorial Campaign Committee are getting involved with seven figure ad buys. The Wall Street bailout. Billions of our tax dollars. If you've watched TV or surfed the web in the last week, you've probably seen new ads in the race for the U.S. Senate. It matters here in Indiana. The Social Security over 800,000 Hoosiers depend on. But With control of the Senate at stake, Indiana has become a focus for Republicans and Democrats nationally. Control of moving policy forward. Um, um, uh, uh, approving uh, Supreme Court justices, for example. I mean, there are so many things at stake when you think about who controls the Senate. IUPUI Associate Professor of Communication Studies Christy Sheeler says Evan Bayh's entry into the race factors into the tone. It is a big name. Um, he doesn't need to go through the, you know, the early introductions to voters. Voters already have a sense of who he is. The Koch brothers super PAC is spending $1 million to attack the new Democratic candidate. And Washington insider Evan Bai voted for it. The Democratic Senatorial Campaign Committee confirms it's spending at least $1 million to attack Congressman Todd Young. Todd Young called Medicare and Social Security welfare. The candidates are also running ads on their own behalf. Young told us this last week when asked about the tone. I've heard feedback already from so many Hoosiers that they think character should be an issue. I told us last week it's Young's choice if he wants to go on the attack. I choose to focus on the challenges that face uh, uh, Indiana families. And Sheeler says this will be a strategic game of who gets the last word with the negative ads, so don't expect the negative tone to let up before Election Day. She says it is only going to get more nasty. Back to you guys.